All right, so today we're gonna to talk about sliders, specifically this do-it-yourself slider from juicelink.com. Now the kit itself comes with multiple parts, but the three main parts are these two CNC milled aluminum bar ends and a CNC milled aluminum trolley, as well as the roller bearings. Now, what you need to do then is go and buy these steel rods any length from four foot to eight foot, put your tripod head on, and then you have a pretty good do-it-yourself slider kit. A user named Bagelman had submitted to juicelink.com a way to motorize this to get some very, very consistent shots, taking out the human element that pushes this trolley along. Um, that's basically what this is here. Uh, the parts are listed on the juicelink.com website. I'll also list them here. What I've done is I've modified it slightly to add these wood platforms so that I have a place to mount this equipment as opposed to mounting it to these ends right here. Now, one of the best things about this slider is that it can go horizontal or it can go vertical as well. So you get your left to right horizontal shot or vertical shot that looks like it's a crane or a jib shot. So what I'm gonna do in this video is I'm just gonna briefly explain what I did to modify what Begelman had done. I'm gonna show you some of the test shots. And then lastly, I'm gonna give you a recommendation for a tripod head here that works fantastic, I think, for these vertical shots. So are you ready to get started, Bogues? Great. All right, so here's my version of the motorized juice link slider. And if you've seen the Bagelman version, it looks very similar. One thing to note is the slider normally doesn't sit on two by fours. I didn't buy the tabletop kit that he sells at juicelink.com, so I just have it there temporarily for now. Let me show you how it works here. Basically, you just turn this on off switch here, forward reverse, there it goes. It'll go all the way down these five foot rods. And if I turn it back here the other direction, you can see it's gonna return to me. Now, you can find the description for all of these parts and whatnot on the juicelink.com website. I'll also put it in the description here of this video and on my website as well. And this is pretty much like I said what Bagelman did. So there's a battery, a forward reverse switch, a servo, uh, the pulley mechanism, and then the belt itself that kind of ties to the trolley here through this screw which you can see. The only thing that I did differently was it looked like Bagelman had covered up these, these screws here and I'm not sure. It looked like he covered them up. These screws are used, they're threaded, these holes. And you can mount a quick release plate to them, as you can see I have there, so that you can mount this on, on a tripod. So what I did is I just basically took some 3 quarter inch plywood, cut it to size, and mounted the equipment up here. Now it's not perfect, it's just tie wrapped on there right now, but I think there might be a longer term solution coming from Juice Link. Um, and you can see if I go to the other side here as well, that we have that same kind of look, just a small piece of wood to kind of attach this uh, return pulley to. Uh, and maintain the quick, um, the quick release plate on the bottom so you'll have a tripod on each side potentially. So let's go ahead and let's see how this looks both vertical and horizontal. The last thing I wanted to talk about is, you know, selection of a tripod head for the trolley. Um, I originally had a ball mount uh, tripod head on here, but what I found is that when I wanted to go vertical up and down with the, with the uh, system, the uh, camera was kind of hitting the steel bars a little bit. So I picked up this model from Manfrotto. It's the 460 MG, and I think they normally call it like a, a three-way or a 360 degree one. What's kind of cool is it's got these different adjustment knobs here. There's three of them, and this thing can really go a lot of different angles. So if I move this one in particular, you can kind of see that now I might be able to go a little bit further uh, back or forward from vertical. So this thing has been really one of the best things I've picked up for this slider kit to be able to do vertical and horizontal shots. Again, it's the 460 MG from Manfrotto. Thanks for watching this video on how to motorize your Juice Link slider. If you enjoyed this video, please share it with your friends. If you have any questions about the parts used to build this slider, please reach out to me at www.mnwebco.com. You can also find me on Facebook and Twitter. Stay tuned, next week we're gonna be reviewing the Blackbird camera stabilizer. If you'd like to receive future updates from us, please subscribe to this channel. And thanks again for watching.